You know, the Lord has said that um, October, this is beautiful, is a month of divine commitment. <laughs> divine commitment. Now, you have to understand, this is, this is the one that is at God's discretion. Divine commitment. Hey, labor sata. Haven't you read of stories of men of God who got picked and they said they were not going and that was the end of the story? And God left them. But there were some who said they were not going and God said, you must go. I will make you go. Moses gave every excuse not to be sent of God. Why that was happening, you find those who are begging God to be sent and are not sent. Why would God not change his mind about Moses? Why would God not change his mind? What greater sin did God find in Saul that he didn't find in David? Divine commitment is a choice of God at his discretion, not forced by prayers, not triggered by seeds, not inspired by fasting. Just a choice. Just a choice. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Deuteronomy chapter 7 quickly. Let's, let's take a, li a little lesson or a, a brief note on divine commitment. Deuteronomy chapter 7 on the read for something beautiful here. From verse 6. To verse 9. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Question why? What have they done? You see, by definition, by definition, divine commitment by definition, divine commitment is the choice of God to be responsible To be responsible to slash four, right? A person or people in a special way are you, are you there? In a special way that is a show. Of his, that is a show of allegiance. Are you there? That's a show of allegiance informed by his character of faithfulness. Hallelujah. Did you get that? The choice of God to be responsible to or for a person or people in a special way. In a special way. That is a show of allegiance. Informed by his character of faithfulness. You get that now. It's a choice of God. You, you don't work for this type. Hallelujah. You know, because it's important that you understand the, the, the weight of a statement from God. 
This is not the, the, the quid pro quo kind of commitment. Do you understand that? Where you say um, um, uh, you, you, something in return for something. That's quid pro quo. Okay, if you understand English, that's uh, something for something. Quid pro quo. All right? Go check the word out in dictionary. It's very simple to understand. But this is, um, this is not also uh, a kind of um, a re re reciprocity based on a deed you carried out. This is just um, a choice of God. A sovereign choice. Oh, you, you know, when I, when I think about the, the, the times and the moments God displayed this divine commitment, it just, it just humbles me. And think about this man in, in the scriptures who, who has so much blood in his hands, who has done so much evil, and now the Bible tells us God gave him rest on every side. I'm talking about the man David, of course. God gave him rest on every side. Then the man sat there in his house and said to himself, how can I be sitting in the house of, of, um, of, of cedar, and, and, the, and the ark of God is under a shade. I'm going to build me a house to God. And then whatever comes to him, to the prophet, he says to him, you will not build me a house. But you'll still build me a house. But because you have this in mind, I want to display another measure of my commitment to you that already show when I picked you. Because remember, the election of David was divine commitment. He didn't do anything for that. He wasn't better than Saul. We, we didn't read any account of Saul taking people's wives. Bersheba, Urias, Abigail, Nabas. He even took Saul's daughter by force. The husband cried after those that went to pick her. And they told him, if you, want to, if you don't want your life, take a better turn back. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, it's just another kind of life we don't want to talk about here now. So committed to Israel. You know, I, I read this ago and I was just blown off. So committed to Israel until God said, you shall not eat things that die by themselves. Give it to strangers. <laughs> I'm telling you. He said, if an animal dies by itself, don't eat it. Give it to strangers. To Are those strangers not humans? <laughs> oh, dear. You know, we just leave some things where they belong for a reason. <laughs> Hallelujah, glory. I just want to read something quickly to you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Just make sure you follow. Oh boy, you need to understand who God really is. Hallelujah. Mm. Okay, look at it here. Um, just a quick one. Leviticus chapter 7. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, glory. From verse 20, 22 to 24. In another place, it says, but let me read this first. It says, and the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the of Israel, say, say, Ye shall eat no manner of fat of us or of sheep or of goat. And the fat of the beast that died of itself, and the fat of that which is torn with bees may be used in any other use, but you shall in no wise eat of it. Do you understand that? He said, don't eat it if it dies of itself. But then, in, in another portion, he says, you shall give it to the stranger. Okay, let me just 
get something across to you quickly so that we can move on from here. Hallelujah, glory. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Mm. Awesome God. I want you guys to learn how that God can be so committed to a point he becomes jealous over them. Jealous over them. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Hallelujah, glory. Hallelujah, glory. We give you praise. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We give you praise. Hallelujah, glory. Oh, boy. I'm enjoying God's commitment, people. And I want us to learn as much as we can so that we can begin to live in the light of God's commitment. Glory to God. Deuteronomy chapter 7 quickly. Let, let's take that first. Book of Deuteronomy chapter 7. From verse 6 again. For thou art unholy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all the people and upon the face of the earth. The Lord did not set his love upon you, not choose you because you were more in number than any people, for you were the fewest of all people. But because the Lord loved you, and because he would keep the oath which he has sworn unto your fathers, had the Lord brought you out with a mighty hand and redeemed you out of the house of bondmen bond from the hand of Pharaoh king of Egypt. Know therefore, watch it now, know therefore that the Lord thy God he is God, the faithful God. Are you still there? The faithful God. We keep a covenant and mess with them that love him and keep his commandment to a thousand generations. Hallelujah. He says he is God that is faithful. He says for the Lord thy God, he is God, the faithful God. Because you have to understand divine commitment is a show of God's faithfulness. Hallelujah. Glory to God. A show of God's faithfulness. The big one. Psalms 89. We're reading through verses. It's a lot. It's beautiful. But I don't know how much you can read all of it. So I'll read um, verses 1, 24, and 35. Just taking up those. No, 33, please. 1, 24, and, 30, and, and, and 33. The rest of them, when you have the time, you can read all of it. From verse 1. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. With my mouth will I make known thy faithfulness to all generations. Verse 24. Let's read from verse 20 for a reason. I have found David my servant. With my holy oil have I anointed him. With whom my hand shall be established, my arm also shall strengthen in him. The enemy shall not exalt upon him, nor shall not forget and afflict him. And I'll bear down his foes for his face and plague them that hate him. Verse 24. But my faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him. And in my name shall his horn be exalted. Did you see that? Look at the next place. 25. I will set his, his hand also in the sea and right down in the rivers. He shall cry to me, thou my father, my God, and the rock of my salvation. Also I will make him my firstborn, higher than the kings of the earth. My mercy will I keep for him forevermore, and my covenant shall stand fast with him. His seed also will I, will, I, will I make to endure forever, and his throne as the days of heaven. If his children, look at verse 30. If his children forsake my law, and walk not in my judgments. If they break my statutes and keep not my commandments, then will I visit their transgression with the rod and their iniquity with stripes. Nevertheless, 
my loving kindness will I not utterly take from him, nor suffer my faithfulness to fail. Did you see that? The, the hidden nations <laughs> would have even been grateful for stripes. <laughs> but he wouldn't even give them. He wouldn't even deal with them. But now he has the people saying, if they forsake my law, I will, I will, I will beat them with Cain. But my faithfulness will I not cause to fail. How do you explain that? divine commitment. I said it is the choice of God. A choice of God. That's what your toba has become. That's what you have become. God has become divinely committed to you. Not based on marriage. But based on God's so prerogative. It's chosen to be committed to us. And for me, actually, this is more like old news because it's been my experience. Been my experience with God. But now my children have been brought into this reality. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Awesome God. So let's take a few um, notes for, for this area of uh, learning. Note, note one, examples of divine commitment. Examples of divine commitment. A. David and God. So just put the scriptures. Um, David and God, 2 Samuel chapter 7, verses 1 to 29. I, I don't want to read that. I, I'm tempted. <laughs> I'm tempted. But I really would love, it to, would love to let it go. I, I need to read that to you for a reason. From verse 1. And it came to pass, and I'm going to fly through it. And it came to pass when the king sat in his house, and the Lord had given him rest round about from all his enemies, that the king said unto Nathan the prophet, See now I dwell in the house of Seder, but the ark of God dwelleth within curtains. And Nathan said to the king, Go do all that is in thine heart, for the Lord is with thee. And it came to pass that night that the word of God came unto Nathan, saying, Go and tell my son and David, Thus said the Lord, Shall thou bid me an house for me to dwell in? Whereas I have not dwelt in any house since the time that I brought the children of Israel out of Egypt, even to this day, but I have walked in a tent and in a tabernacle. In all the places wherein I have walked with all the children of Israel, speak I a word with any of the tribes of Israel, whom I commanded to feed my people Israel, saying, Why be ye not me and house of Cedar? Now therefore, so, now therefore, so shalt thou say unto my servant David, Thus said the Lord of hosts, I took thee from the sheep court, from, 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 from following the sheep to be ruler of my people over Israel. And I was with thee with us over thou wentest, and I have cut off all thine enemies out of thy sight, and I have made thee a great name, like unto the name of the great men that are in the earth. Moreover, I will open a place for my, for my people Israel, and I will plant them, that they may dwell in the place of their own, and move no more. Then that shall the of wickedness afflict them any more as before time. And as since the time that I commanded judges to be over my people Israel, and of course thee to rest from all, all thine enemies, also the Lord telleth thee that he will make thee an house. And when thy days be fulfilled, and, and thou shalt sleep with thy fathers, I will set up thy seed of that day, which shall proceed out of thy bowels, and I will establish his kingdom. It shall be my house for my name, and I will establish the throne of his kingdom forever. I will be his father, and shall be my son. If he commit iniquity, I will take him with the rod of men, and with the stripes of, of John men. But my mercy shall not depart away from him, as I took it from Saul, whom I put away before thee. <laughs> Did you see that? I took it from Saul, but in your case, I won't take it from you. He took it He took it from Saul. But he says to David, I won't take it from you. Divine commitment. The choice of God. Because if he took it from Saul, then he should also take it from David. He said, but I will not. I won't take it from you. Now tell me, what was it that David did differently than Saul didn't do? Nothing. Look at it, verse 16. And then house and thy kingdom shall be established forever before thee. Thy throne shall be established forever. According to all these words, according to all these visions, 
So did Nathan speak unto David. Then when King David, then when King David in a sad before the Lord, and he said, Who am I, O Lord God? And what is my house that thou hast brought me hither though? And this was yet a small thing in thy side, O Lord God. But thou hast spoken also of thy servant's house for a great while to come. And is this the man of man, O Lord God? And what can David send more unto thee? For thou, Lord God, knowest thy servant. For thy word's sake, and according to all thy, and according to thy own heart, has thou done, you see that now, watch it, what divine commitment defined for you. He said, for thy word's sake, and according to thy own heart, has thou done all these great things to make thy servant know them? Wherefore thou art great, O Lord God, for it is not like thee, neither is there any God beside thee, according to all that we have heard with our ears. And what one nation in the earth is like thy people, even like Israel, whom God went to redeem for a people to himself, and to make him a name, and to do for you great things and terrible for thy land before thy people, which thou redeemed to thee from Egypt, from the nations and their gods. For thou hast confirmed to thyself that people is there to be a people unto thee forever. And thou, Lord, hast become their God. And now, O Lord God, the word that thou hast spoken and concerning thy servant, and thy thee his house, establish it forever, and do as thou hast said. And let thy name be magnified forever, saying, The Lord of hosts is the God of me over Israel. And let the house of thy servant David be established before thee. For thou, O Lord of hosts, God of Israel, has revealed to thy servant, say, I will build thee an house, therefore hath thy servant found in his heart to pray this prayer unto thee. And now, O Lord God, thou art that God, and thy words be true, and thou hast promised this good unto thy servant. Therefore now let it please thee to bless the house of thy servant, that it may continue forever before thee. For thou, O Lord God, hast spoken it, and with thy blessing, let the house of thy servant be blessed forever. Say amen. Because we have come to the position to talk like David now. By divine commitment. We have come to that position to talk like David by divine commitment. Example B. Esau and Jacob. First, no, okay, that is what examples of divine commitment. We said David and God, right? Now Esau and Jacob. Romans chapter 9, verses 9 to 16. Are you there? Romans chapter 9, from verse 9. For this is the word of promise. At this time will I come, and Sarah shall have a son. And not only this, but when Rebekah also had conceived by one, even by her father Isaac, for the children, now watch it, for the children being not yet born, neither having done any good or evil, that the purpose of God going to election might stand, not of works, but of him that called it, it was said unto her, the heir that shall serve the younger. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I loved less, to this not hated. What, what, sh what shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with God? God forbid. For he said to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. So then, so then, it is not of him that will it, nor of him that run it, but of God that showeth mercy. Can you say amen? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Note two. How to enjoy God's faithfulness. In bracket, divine commitment. That's what I'm talking about. A. By not taking his faithfulness for granted. By not taking his faithfulness for granted. Are you there? By not taking it for granted. And there you have 2 Chronicles chapter 36. 
um, verses 14 to 16. Amen. So I'm not going to be reading that to you now. You remember how it says that the Lord, the, the God of the Father, um, sent prophets to them money by money. And it tells you, okay, so the Lord God of the Father sent to them by, by his messenger, rising up big times, and sent because he had compassion on his people and his dwelling place. But they mocked the messengers of God and despised his words and misused his prophets until the wrath of the Lord arose against his people till there was no remedy. Remember that? So they misused, they abused they took for granted God's faithfulness. B, B, please. By making the most of the purpose of his faithfulness. By giving you, by making the most of the purpose of his faithfulness. Amen. There you have 2 Kings chapter 17. Um, 24 to 33. Remember the story? How the king of Assyria brought men to live in Samaria. All right? And the Bible tells us they began to serve their God. And God sent lions after them. And lions began to devour them. And then they said to the king of Assyria, the, the men you brought here do not know the manner of God of this land do. And therefore that God has sent lions after them. And so they said, go and bring one of the priests to teach them the manner of the God. And so they brought, brought a piece from captivity to teach them the manner of God. And the priest taught them. And the Bible says it came to pass when the lions stopped to come devour them, that the people feared the Lord but served their own gods. So in his faithfulness, he kept the lions back. And so they feared God and served their own gods. So I said, by making most of the purpose of his word, faithfulness. C. By giving your best to him, hyphen, living for his glory. Hallelujah. Numbers 25, verses 10 to 23. Sorry, verses, verses, from verse 10 to, not 23, please, from verse 10 to 13. 10 to, 10 to 13. I'm sure you know that one, right? Find a house. How he took a sword and smote that is the light man and the woman, that uh, midnight woman. Because of the zeal of God. And God said, for what this he has done, he's made a tomb for Israel. I have, I have given my covenant of peace and he shall have it. You see that he gave his best to God. D. By testifying of his faithfulness, giving him the credit for it. Give him the credit for all things. Testifying of his faithfulness, give him the credit for all things. Do you, do you get that? By testifying of his faithfulness, giving the credit for all things. Psalms 40 verse 10, I'll read that for you. Psalms 40 verse 10. Are you there? Okay, look at it. I have not hid thy righteousness within my heart. I have declared thy faithfulness. Have you seen that? I have declared thy faithfulness and, and thy salvation. I have not concealed thy loving kindness and thy truth from the great congregation. Did you see that? I haven't concealed it. Is that I've declared it. I haven't healed it. I've given you the credit for everything. As long as the ways you enjoy God's faithfulness or divine commitment. Hallelujah. Is that clear? All right. Um, note three, right? Benefits of divine commitment. Benefits of divine commitment. Hallelujah. 
Aleluia. E. Speedy answers to prayers. E.G. Abraham and Abimelech. You have Genesis chapter 20. B. Enjoyment of God's integrity. Psalms 143 verse 1 and Hebrews 11 verse 11. Psalms 143 verse 1 and Hebrews 11 verse 11. Remember Sarah? Now, Psalm 143 verse says, um, Hear my prayer, O Lord, give ear to my supplication. In thy faith will answer me, and in thy righteousness. You see that? So the psalmist knew that God was going to respond to him. And then he tells us Sarah, um, receive strength to conceive because he judged God faithful. And Jeremy the God's integrity. Then see, we have uh, his regular visit slash presence. His regular visit slash presence, the benefits. Hallelujah. Then you have Numbers chapter 12 from verse 1 to 10. His regular visit slash presence. That's the portion where um, Aaron and Marian spoke up against Moses. The Bible says, and the presence of God showed up. And God called them for and said, if there be prayer amongst you, I, the Lord will speak to him. Remember that scripture? I said, my son Moses is not so. Whom I will reveal myself to and speak to him face to face. Divine commitment. What did Moses do for all of that? God said he's faithful. But it, it was not his children that brought about the relationship. It was the discretion of God. He could have chosen Aaron that was even an eloquent person. Hallelujah. D. Is that D now? Yeah. We have A, B, C. So D. This is beautiful. Divine preservation. Divine preservation. Psalms 31 verse 23. Hallelujah. And now people, we, we are going to just, you know, um, <laughs> this is just beautiful. This is beautiful. The apostles made a statement that just came to my spirit right now. Peter headed the, the committee, and I'm sure you know about that. The book of the Apostles, how that um, there was murmurings among the people regarding the daily seven of temples, seven of tables, and, and Peter came and said, I want to read that to you. That's for a reason. You should, you should, you should have that in your note for a reason. Acts of the Apostle. Uh, chapter 6. From verse 1 to 7. And in those days, when the number of disciples was multiplied, there arose a murmur of the Grecians against the Hebrews because their widows were neglected in the daily ministration. Then the twelve called the multitude of the disciples unto them and said, It is not reason that we should leave the word of God and serve tables. Wherefore, brethren, look ye out among you seven men of honest report, full of the Holy Ghost and wisdom, whom, may, whom we may appoint over the, this business. And look at verse 4. But we will give ourselves continually to prayer and to the ministry of the word. Then look at verse 7, the effect of that prayer. And the word of God increased. And the number of disciples multiplied in Jerusalem greatly. And a great company of the priests were obedient to the faith. You, you want to see more souls saved? You want to see the word of God having its free course? 
You want to see those in authority submitting to the word of God? Prayer is the secret. Prayer is the secret. But we'll give ourselves continually to prayer and to the ministry of the word. Listen. Never retire from praying. Never retire from praying. And never be lazy to pray. Because when we pray, the supernatural is giving expression in the natural when we pray. And so, we're just going to embark in prayer right now and make things happen that are beyond words. It's, it's power and prayer, or prayer and power. They go hand in hand. All right? You, you, you can't manipulate God to just have the power without dying in the place of prayer. Okay, he went to fast and pray and he returned the power of the spirit. That's number one. I just want to watch something about the connection, the relationship. Then in chapter 5, same book of Luke, I want to show something quickly from verse 15 to 17. He says, But so much the more when there a fame abroad of him, and great multitudes came together to hear and to be healed by him of the infirmities. Then look at the next verse. Look at the next verse quickly. And he withdrew himself into the wilderness and prayed. Hey, are you listening to me? That's verse 16. He withdrew and prayed. Look at verse 17. And it came to pass on a certain day, as he was teaching, that there were Pharisees and doctors of the Lord sitting by, which were come out of every town of Galilee and Judah and Jerusalem. And the power of the Lord was present to heal them. Did you see that? Verse 12. And it came to pass in those days that he went out into a mountain to pray and continued all night in prayer to God. Did you see that? Jesus. And when it was day, he called unto him his disciples, and out of them he chose twelve, whom also he named apostles. How do you choose your leaders? Are you seeing a life of prayer? In chapter 3, he was praying, heaven opened, and the, the, the Lord spoke. Chapter 4, he went to pray, power was, for, was, was generated. Chapter 5, he prayed, power was there to him. Chapter 6, he went all night to pray. You just look at Jesus. Pray, 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 pray. You can keep going and going and going. You'll be shocked. And then you move to chapter 7. You find him in another place of prayer. Chapter 8, then chapter 9. tells the one that was praying and his fashion changed. This time around, he began to reflect on his body as the apogasma of God. But you become a carrier of that power as you die in place of prayer. That power becomes alive active and alive as you die in the place of prayer. And we do the charging in the place of prayer. Like it says, building up yourselves on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. You build up. What is he saying? He said, charge up yourself like a power bank, like a power, a power carrier. You speak in tongues, speak in tongues, speak in tongues until the power of God starts to permeate every fiber of your being to the strands of your hair, to the outfit you wear until they come and say, virtue has left me. In the name of Jesus. Are you ready? Oh Lord God, God of our flesh, Father of spirits, to whom belongs all flesh and all the earth, who has said, for the oppression of the poor, for the sign of the needy, now, Lord, not tomorrow, now, now will I arise, said the Lord, and I will set him, man, woman, old, young, poor, rich, Families, homes, nations, governments, I will set him in safety from him that pours at him. Lord, we ask that you arise now. As the judge of all, we ask that you arise now in the greatness of your power and unleash 
the fire of your judgment. In this day of judgment, it has been written, Lord, now is the judgment of this world. Not tomorrow, but now. Now shall the people be cast into the ground, Lord. Lord God, you will that all should be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. And it has been written, Lord, when your judgments are in the earth, the inhabitants of the world will learn righteousness. And so, Lord, we ask you, in this day and time of judgment, we ask that you unleash the fire of your judgment on all things created, visible and invisible, Lord, that are contrary to, that are opposed to, and that resist your perfect plan, purpose, pleasure, and glory for all the peoples and the nations of this world. My Lord and my God, Sheila Bababaya, hold not your peace, Lord, lest the adversaries gloat. Lest the enemy say, where is, the, where is the God that says, now will I arise? Lest the adversary raises his shoulders and say, the blood of Jesus was shed in vain. Hold not your peace, O God. Keep not silent. Let the fire of your judgment be unleashed today, Lord. Father God. O Lord God. He because you have said, now will I arise, and I'll do all my pleasure. We ask, O King of all who works salvation in the midst of the earth, we ask, O God, that you arise in the greatness of your power, Lord. Yes, arise, 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 and work salvation for nations, for the peoples of the world, through the fire of your judgment, O God. And in the same vein, Lord, we ask you arise in the name of power and lavish the fullness of your glory on the nations and the peoples of this world. Let the fire of your judgment pave way for your glory. Let the fire of your judgment cause the things that are opposed to your will to submit themselves to you, Lord. And let your glory saturate nations, peoples, homes. Let your glory fill all things, O God. Until the peoples of this world become priests unto God. And the nations become the nations whose God is the Lord. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Lord, arise. Do all your pleasure. Till your kingdom come. With his culture. Till the prevailing culture. In every home. In every nation. Be theonomous culture. God praising. God fearing. God worshiping culture. Arise. Arise. Now will I arise. Said God I cannot lie. Arise now Lord. And unleash the fire of your judgment. And why the the judgment is prevailing. Oh God. Causing this to submit themselves to the Lord. We ask in vain. You unleash. You lavish. The fullness of your glory. Lord, become God in the earth today as you are in heaven. Hear the verse of our prayer, Lord. Hear the verse of our prayer, Lord. Let the enemy bury his head in the sand in shame. Let the whole earth be faithful with your glory. This we ask for the nations, for the peoples, for the governments, for the lands, for homes. Arise. In the field of your glory and inherit their language, their economies, their policies, all they represent. Use all for your glory. Use all for your glory. Use all for your glory. Let the dark place of the earth become habitations of righteousness, truth, fear of the Lord. We ask, fire of your judgment. We ask, fullness of your glory. Right now, right now, right now, right now by your spirit, Lord. Right now by your spirit, Lord. In the name of Jesus, wherever you are, open your mouth. Blast in other tongues. Let God arise through our prayers. Let his enemies be scattered. Right now, let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. In the name of Jesus Christ, go ahead. Kasu katima. Rabba shinde gredebo. Let go paladisto. Let God arise. Let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. Let the fire of your judgment arise. In the north, east, south, west. 
Oh Lord, gata, gata. Be provoked to wrath. Behold the blood of Jesus. Behold his, his hand. Behold his arms. Behold his side. Behold his legs. And be provoked to wrath. Let the Father of judgment, O oh God, be unleashed upon our waterways, roadways, airways, nations, government, kingdoms, O oh God. In the name of the Lord Jesus, O oh King of old, walk salvation for man, woman, old, young, through the Father of judgment, Lord, for nations, so for government, Lord, through the Father of judgment, Lord. In the name of Jesus. And so profit to mangli, rabasataka, libro corrato, ilapiltus abadama, mero ketese pala, lico pranto, irashido mangredigo, la pucata, ramanjato peli, rabababo, be intense in this prayer, be effective, everyone. Zelamanto Rabasin Topala Meli Glorious Arushka Lebroko Ramentala Babo Ratoko Ion Gemen de Grasti Eligo Pala Mary Pelostosho Mengradigo Pali Lebroko Rafasi de Mando Legepo Rabashito Leboko Melasti Fotrato Raman de Gredebola Leco Melifato Rabashito Pa Malikon de Gredebola Lege Paso Ento Raman de Ligo Pala Manto Rabashin Copa Rabate Rabashikala Mered the Bo Lebro Kotaka Mentoko Merejape Rabakrato Ebele Nokato Nelebro Rababa Noleko Lebesata Mentokobo Rabashikopala Nolelo Legebro Rabashanto Rabba Cranto, Le Bocata, Jopeto, De La Panto Cobo, Ananto, Arababa, Lege Pronto, Igabasha, Monto Cobo, Le Braco, Yoro Salabanto, Le Begrata, Yoro Ja, Monto Cobo, Le Begrata, Le Bebe, Monto Cobo, Le Braco, Yoro Ja. Takama, Meredabo, Leboca, Songrade, Rabba, Songrade, Bala, Lege, Poshi, Calamanto, Lebede, Robba, Cata, Meredede, No Pale, Rabba, Socroto, Bele, Monto, Copala, Lebedaya, Meredabo, Copeta, No Kelo, Yoroshi, Calamanto, Bramto, Meredabo, Mered Shoto, Lebracota, Rabacramto, Lebede, Zopala, Rebecritico, Mentoco, Lebede, Noca Soto, Lebedelemo, Igebrato, Merego Shalaba, Rabaca, Noleco, Edja, Ebato, Arodo. Pala, no le cupa, erde be, corra, basham de la ba, bere, e capoto, caso grade. Alanta, Rebeshi, Calabronto, Igebedo, Meredo, Casongrado, Lebecompa, Jure Pale, Rabacata, Marto Cobo, Lebebe, Rabocata, Levo Patata, Jopele, Malicobara, Rabacataca, Nole Copala, Rebete, Rabasho, Vele Topala, Machato, Bere Glass to Copara, Rabasham de Rebo, Legebe, Corabasanto, Merede de Bo, Rabashi Calamanto, Legebe, Socate, No Rabasata, Legebe, Morato, Corabasanto, 
Spanaka, a popali, Loprofente, Rabashan, take a po, Lebede, Rodokata, No Kete, Brokoto, Lege Bronto, Ibere, Raboko, Meleko, Lebrato, Lebeshote, Maleko, Legebo, Lebosho, Maliko, Rabasha, Vele Shapa, Montoko Baraba, Rabba Crento, Lido Palama, Irabo. Esto bala pranto legebo you resto rababa ida pento le brocanto pa ligo ferrepela coramanto igapale montacaba maleco in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ my Lord my God arrive cobare now Lord in the name of power montoco po legebe co Rababa and inherit all nations, all peoples of God. Paleko with the Holy Ghost power and fire. We write the little Ghost of God. Rababaya, walk and walk with them, in them and through them, O oh God. Maleko, Maleko, a walk with my toe will not believe. Rabba Shekete, Rababaya, Noleko, Lababaya, lavish on them, O oh God. The fullness of your glory, your power, your glory. Greatness of God, your nature, Rabba Kete, Nopela, Mole Copala, Legebo, to those who mumble and duffy, to those that become the standing law, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Lebo, Rabba Shampa, Legebo, Paradeka, Mentoko, Lebra Con de Grede Buddha. A neighbor, I korababa, le boshi kalamanto, le broko, le bede, rababa, moleko, le brokoto, rabasato, meleko, le gebo, maliko, le gebrontoko, rababa, noleko, entopra, i gebede, rodopala, mere. Jo Palanje Cobra Bata I get no KTK Poroche No Crest Peter Cobra Babaya Lopreke No Rapranto Melestopa I Garaba Shandelebo Potokaya Mere Jolo Lebra Cobra Santo Mantala Babaya Rabba Babaya and now a popla fader, a corababa, monesto, a poran jopota, rababa, moleco, legebo, legebo, rabba, noleco pala, rabba, shakopa, malepo, legebo, legepo, yoko shalamanto, a pele, legepo, rabba soto, elepo, rababa. No crete, le epo, no le clonto, rababa, no le co, le bebe, rababo, melesto prefala, rababa, monto copo, le brocata, maleco, le geboro, rababaya, no le co, le gebo, rabo shekete, no cate, brotoco, le gebo. Montocopo, Yoroja, Mentocoba, Rebbe Critico, Mantocobala, Yoroshilama, Eclo, Ye Conjure Patris. Oh God, Korababa, Meleso, Legebro, Rababa, Moleko, Lebeto, Rabba Sheka, Motoko, Lebrokoto, Empele, Korabba Shidapa, Monkras, Korababa, Lopreta, Jo Pelemonto, Ida Pelebo, Kato, Pele Shuda, Mantoko Bro, Rabba Shido Pala, Montoko, E Pele, Cobra Feza.
Zebeta, Montoko, Lebroko, Lebroko, Maliko, Lebroko, Ure Safa, Rababa, Maliko, Melisto, Verentoto, Lebrocoto, Rababa, Noleko, Lebrocoto, Rabachata, Veleto, Lebrocoto, Barre, Velesto, Maliko, Meleko, Lebraco, Lebraco, Rabashi, Maliko, Eperoja, Ida Pelo, Labra Feteco, Neraste, Rabashi, Calamanto, Lebede, Lebro, Rababa, Noleku, Esteco, Meleto, Prafata, Meredai, No Creto Pala, Legebo, Yoro Pele, No Tete, Rababa, No Le Cupa, Yoro, Legebe, Malikoja, Raba, Netopo, Rababaya, Maleko, Erjato, Maleko, Legebo, Ira Peto, Rababa, No Te, Rabashida, Meredo, E Bello, E Caban Soto, Adepa, Aro, Le Broca, Songrade, Le Gabo, E Bele, Monto Copa, Le Becritico, Enjo, Meredoco, E Bele, Corraba, Shandelebo, Rababa, Noleco, Le Gabo, E Casoto, Rababaya, Noleco, Le Gabranto, Le Beche Copo, Patoko Rabala Montoko Ebele Nole Clopata Rababa Nole Co Leprocosha Manteke Rabo Prefo Cora Epeto Maleco Lebe Shuda Palo Pote Nerabashi Copa Leproco Enjo Rabba Crete Noliko Este Monto Copa Nereglesa Pali Rodo Pala Manto Copo Lebetesa Rodopol Nereco Legebo Rababaya Noleco Legepo Shekete Pala No Toco Brante So Para Rabo Sheto Manto Co Ebele Corabashata Mantoko e Bele Casondo Ida Pale Rabashanda Ida Pale Rabaco and Joe Palamante Ako Yere Palamanto Lebro Casongre de Brato Yure Pela Manto Copare Vele Jo Prafe Maliko Epele Rabasheto Ida Pele Rabacrato Maliko Eba Fetado Ida Pele Logobo Lebeto Rabaseto Maliko Ebelo Ega Boshake it. Ananta ida poro raba kritiko embokata lobro fire jopala monteke raba shantu ida pelo ko raba she matoko lebro ko yoko shilapata. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Lift your hands and worship him. Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and power, O God. For thou hast created all things are for thy pleasure. They are and were created. You are my 
mighty God, Thou art worthy, O Lord. Bless the Father to receive glory, honor, and power. O God, for Thou hast created all things are for thy pleasure, O oh God, they are a and Thou art worthy, God, Thou art worthy, O oh Lord. Hallelujah to receive glory. For thou hast created all things are for thy pleasure. They are a God and created. Thou art worthy, God. God art worthy. Faithful God to receive glory, honor, and power. A God, for thou hast created all things are for thy pleasure. They are a God. Thou art worthy, God. Sing on. Thou art worthy, O Lord. Faithful God, to receive glory, honor, and power. A God, for Thou hast created all things are for thy pleasure they are I am and where thou art worthy God thou I worship you Lord I worship you Lord I worship you Lord I, worship you, Lord. I give you praise oh God no Oh yes, for thou hast created all things are for thy pleasure. They are and created. Shade kauso jeba. Carondo say Gabradio Gio and so Taligo. We worship you, Lord. Glory be to God in the highest. Amen. I can say, Glory be. God in the highest, amen. I have for mercies and your right forever, amen. For his mercies and
Hallelujah. Glory be to God. The highest. Amen. A God. Glory be to God. In the highest. Amen. Awesome God. For His mercies and your rest forever. With your glory, a machine, the whole is filled. With your glory, Gila Mande, the whole is filled. With your glory, oh. The whole at his feet with your reverence. The whole at his feet with your praises. <laughs> the whole at his feet with your glory. Zeto Pagrina Ligo so Onto Hela Did not East Southwest Kabiro No Jiko Rivose Ligo Pa Zione Ho Li Is Thy Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Shalaba Santoko. Jayman Greece, the party, the Eagles, Kongel, the party, stop. And Stelo Cobra Gis, the La Parazin, the Chloros, the party, stop. We worship you. We worship you. We bless you. Eshe mandika Jika barabashe de mondo Jika bare magirasto Gila maroste kabridashe Barabasho toli gaba santo gridaya E ramase labasete Je bokina masia je malikasu we worship you we worship you we give you praise and the honor we lift our voice in worship to praise your holy name you deserve a glory and an a and the honor faithful god as we lift our hands in worship and to praise your holy name lord you are great you do miracles so great there is no one else like you faithful God there is no one else like you glorify your name 
in all of the earth. glorify your name. glorify your name. Yes, glorify your name in all the earth. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I say the Lord. Walk he warned us in the earth. And shele basata. Haradigo Mashida. And now the Southwest lead with your glory. Fire of your judgment. Fullness of your glory. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. In the name of the Lord Jesus. And so right now, I want to just go ahead. Give all your, all your, your, your seeds. You know, all you do is to, is to make a difference. Just indicate which one you are giving. Your offering, the seed for the month, uh, it's the tithe, it's whatever it is, I just put, indicate on your envelope what you're giving and give for it. Then if it is, um, if, you're, if you're watching online, you're giving online, the, the, the difference is also that the different accounts are also there, all right? So just follow through the instructions on the screen and go ahead and give for the different purposes. And let me tell you something. When God's honest on what you give, <laughs> when God's honest on what you give, it comes back to you in the fold you didn't ask. Because the honor of God is upon it. It comes back to you in that fold you didn't ask God for. Why? Because his honor is on it. He says the king asks for life and you gave him length of days. Are you getting that? Because the honor of God was upon him. So you go ahead and do that now and you see how God will honor you as you do all that. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Let's have the communion quickly. Piamando rete palahia Ali Masatu. We worship you, Lord. Oh Lord my God, how excellent is your name, how excellent is your name in all the earth. Oh God, Malabar, oh Lord my God, how excellent is your name, how excellent is your name in all the earth. Your glory, God. Your glory fills all heavens. And now it fills the earth. How excellent is your name in all the earth. You are wonderful, O oh Lord my God. How excellent is your name. How excellent is your name in all the earth. Nanta Jehiba Kaso Fari and Tobrea Kaso Ndeba Ribazo Fegre and Zabalaba, Geza, Linzo, Barre, Kasso, Ferraye, 
Jesus, oh, je l'ai, les bras de ce qu'il da. A balé que c'est, your glory fills the heaven, and I fills the earth. How excellent is your name in all the earth. And Jesus said on that cross, it is finished, Lord. And now by the Spirit of it, I declare to all the angels, to all the authorities, to all the past sin, of all things created, visible and invisible, that are contrary to, that are opposed and that resist, the perfect plan, purpose, pleasure, glory of the love for his creation, that stand with the will of God in the earth, that resist your kingdom and his culture. I declare this day it is finished with them. And as a mouth, I command the fire of your judgment upon them. Say and all his hosts in the name of the Father, the name of the Son, the name of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Man toka baya. Thank you, Father. Just keep it plain. Thank you for this cup of the new and his blood. Thank you for the blessedness in this cup. By this cup, I announce love and clear to all the angels, to all the authorities about saying, Thus, as the Lord said, the children, their lords, are free to overflow. All of the fullness of God and the supernatural. And now by faith in you, I declare the whole earth, the peoples of the earth, the ends of the earth, the waterways, the roadways, the airways, the economies, political structures, policies, and other nations and all the nations of the earth are overflowing. With all of the fullness of your glory your character, your personality, your fear, your reverence, as the word has covered the sea. The name of the Father, the name of the Son, the name of the Holy Ghost, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. But you know the Lord has been gracious to us. He has been faithful to us. He has been divinely committed to us. He has blessed us more than we qualify for, more than we deserve. So don't forget to always give him thanks for his goodness and his mercies. And while you're giving him thanks for all that he's done for us, also do not neglect yourself in, in giving heed. Like he says, take heed to thyself. Take heed to yourself. Take heed to your health. Take heed by eating healthy, by eating early at night without... without um, um, by forming habit of eating early at night rather than eating late into the night, okay, just to, um, to shut the door against diabetes and all of those this, uh, heart and, and kidney-related diseases. Make sure you take up a lot of clean water. I, of course, I know in some part of the world, clean water is always accessible. And that's why like Jesus, which I take up deadly things, shall not hurt us. So you, you take the water and bless it. He said, Lord, I declare this water sanctified of his spirit. with thanksgiving. I drink it and it shall be healthy in my body in Jesus' name. And that's it. You nullify the germs by the Holy Ghost. God knows you are not tempting him by deliberately. You know that's all you have. He knows that. And you see what God can do with that water. Not like you go load your table with germs and say, I convert it to, to proteins. <laughs> no, that's, not, that's tempting God. Amen. Hallelujah. So you know what to do because I've always taught you the right way. And the good things to do. So keep doing them. And so till we see. Keep reading in life. God bless you.